Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday. Let's get in to the news. All right, let's start this off with the good stuff and Legion Vampire making a return, a very dark return for this Black Friday, which is not tomorrow, but next week, of course. Uh, if you're not up to date, that's that's gonna be next week. This week we have Mehmet's birthday as the release, but next week will be Black Friday, and I'm gonna go through a bunch of gear here. We have uh, the Onyx right there and the Obsidian right there. Or the male version, the female version of Obsidian. We don't have the male version of Onyx, although you could, you think the armor exists in the game, the uh, non-black version of it, so y you know what that looks like. All right, a little controversial, but the Onyx Legion Vampire Armor will be available for Legion tokens. And uh, it, the, there's also a typo on the sign notes that says that Evolve Legion Vampire Armor wore last year. Just like the, yeah, last year. I don't, was there like a, was there an armor release last year uh, related to Evolve Legion Vampire? Evolve Legion Vampire came out in 2014. I don't, that might be a typo or maybe there was an armor released for that, I don't know, some of the comments can tell me. Elena confirms that there is no plans for differences, so uh, members of Legion that are short on ACs will want to make sure they stock up on Legion tokens. So make sure you're farming Legion tokens. You got about a week from the time you're watching this video to farm for the armor. I would guess the armor is gonna cost around 10,000 Legion tokens, if not more. Uh, so make sure you got enough to grab that awesome looking armor. Here's another Black Friday Legion armor. The Legion Obsidian Blade Master looks pretty badass, and that will be releasing, of course, for Black Friday. Black Zealoth Reavers. I love the Zealoth Reavers. I've actually never had them before. Like, I, I think I've tried to farm for them before, got distracted, and forgot about it. I always forget about farming them for some reason. I should probably farm for these. Those pink and blue versions that are, like, in the game and not rare. Uh, but black versions could be in the AC shop. Elena Whispers. I think you should have... Sure, uh, you don't miss this year's uh, Black Friday shop. Man. Don't don't miss the Black Friday shop. Hinting that they'll be in the shop. All right, Ashes asks Elena, any thought on nation items for Black Friday or Cyber Monday? I don't want to know the items themselves, just to know that they're there. I want a surprise. Uh, hello, Ashes. Yes, we will have at least one nation armor for Black Friday and one for Cyber Monday. So that's two, two nation armors, plus some non armor gear as well so two nation armors and nation accessories helmets weapons that sort of thing being confirmed there by elena that's pretty cool speaking of nation armors uh i appreciate your suggestion ideas i'll put some of them on the short list the ones that uh, many others have suggested uh, so yeah nation armors these look like nation armors that looks like a black friday that looks like a cyber monday just saying, also the ones down below look badass. I would actually get those if they were in-game. Those look really cool. Actually, I get I get all these armors if they're in-game. Every item on here I would get. Definitely, yeah. So, yeah, very cool. You might see these this year or next year. We'll see. Okay, in case you're worrying about a uh, 10k AC chest, no, no. We are only releasing a limited number of collection chests per year. The next one will be for Frostfell. So that, for one, confirms a 10k chest for Frostfell. Or I... I don't think they have to price them at 10k and I hope they don't price every chest at 10k AC. I hope that they measure it and actually give like an accurate an AC amount. Like it, well, let's say there's 20,000 ACs worth of items in there. Maybe they cap them at 10k, but they can go below. Like if there's only like 5k worth of AC items in there, then make the chest cost like 5k or less than 5k. But yeah, so chest confirmed for Frostfell. Mehmet's birthday is tomorrow and we'll have some adorable onesies uh, for your character and a Mehmet pet also to go along with it. If you're a fan of these helmets, these very cool helmets, I'm not sure, they're not, are they like chibi helmets? I think that's what they're called. So yeah, I know one is coming with a saddle on your head and Mehmet on the saddle. So it's pretty funny and pretty cute. Furo got his Shadow Slayer set that he suggested into the game that will be coming out for Black Friday as drops. Uh, Furrow also said on Twitter that he wanted an ace, a color custom version to be purchasable for ACs, so you might be able to see that too. There is a purple version there and a brown one. So the brown one might be drops and the purple one, uh, color custom one, might be AC. Not confirmed or anything, but that was uh, a response that Furrow made on 
Twitter to someone asking what uh, how the items would be uh, how you get the items uh, so here is an image of all the items uh, they're black in this image they're brown and purple in the other image which leads me to believe that uh, there will be a color custom version coming out although that is not confirmed not to my knowledge at least uh, so there's the two armors and all the helmets insane amount of really awesome looking helmets and hairstyles there so that is that will be for Black Friday and that will be some farmable gear CSGO Lotto confirmed for Adventure Quest Worlds I'm just gonna um it's just a karambit made with the AQW art style looks really cool and uh, yeah loot boxes confirmed uh, Krulong also working on some assassin gear for AQW looks really good uh, fuel mill male versions I don't know if they green on that's color custom because the patterns the same on that one it could be the female version although there is a lot less detail in this one it, I'm not too sure but yeah it looks really good if you want to know what the December upgrade package is, A ranks with uh, this really badass looking upgrade package. Last month's was, or this current month's one's badass. This one looks badass. Goddamn, rip money, dude. And last but not least, uh, somewhere on Twitter, I couldn't find the source or anything, but someone said that the uh, there's going to be the calendar pre orders going up for the 2018 calendar on Hero Mart. So. That's interesting, uh, so if you're looking to pre-order the calendar, check back tomorrow, of course, I'll probably uh, tell you guys if that's available in the stream tomorrow night or not, if the pre-order is up, so you can check in for that, we will be streaming the new update tomorrow, I'm logged out, okay, uh, no news on whether or not we're getting houses for this Black Friday, I have been using my house that I got last Black Friday for a whole year now, or, did I get that last Black Friday or did I get the year before, like I've had this house for a while, I uh, really hope they had another house it looks really cool like matrix library i really like this one maybe they could do it with the legion house since this was a nation house and they are releasing some really cool legion gear this year so yeah that makes sense if they did like a legion cyber house that'd be kind of cool so uh maybe there's a suggestion if anyone's watching and they need a house to release for an insane amount of acs i think this house actually this house is pretty reasonable 2500 acs but yeah Anyway, that's all for the video today. I rambled on enough, and I'll see you guys all next week. Uh, we use videos every week, and I'll be live streaming tomorrow. See you guys there. Have a good one. Peace.